Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. God bless all our first timers. Thank you for stopping by. Hallelujah. God is giving me a warning message for someone. God says I should warn you. Stay. God says I should warn you. Stay. Just because things are not working out right, just because circumstances and situations are not the best right now, doesn't mean you should walk out. I pray that this word meets just the right person and that as you listen to me, there's going to be a conviction and a kind of confirmation so you do not just act out of um, excitement, but this should be a confirmation word that will help you have clarity. You do not leave, you do not exit a place because life has become difficult. You, you do not give in your resignation because it's difficult. You do not leave that relationship because it is not working well. You do not leave the city or the state wherever you are or the country where you are because things are tough. You leave because God wants you to go. Each time God gives me this prophetic word, I only remember one family. The family of Elimelech. Temporarily, Bethlehem was, was going through a famine. And Elimelech decided to move his children, his wife, or let me just say to move his family to Moab, where it was promising, where, you know, everything was going on great for them there. But guess what happened in Moab? Elimelech died and lost his two sons. And Naomi had to come back to Bethlehem in pain and in shame. Guess what? Everyone did not leave Bethlehem because of the famine. God still preserved his own. Boaz, I want to think, was in Moab even when there was no bread. But God kept and preserved him so much so that when Naomi was coming back with Ruth, Boaz was a very wealthy man. God is going to preserve you in a place. It doesn't matter the economy. We do not operate by the economy of the world. We operate by the economy of heaven. There was a famine and everybody was leaving. And God told Isaac, do not go anywhere, stay. And the Bible says that same year he, he sowed and, he, and, and he, he had a thousand fold of harvest. Do not leave because, because circumstances are hard and challenging. If you must move, it should be because God has commanded you to do so. Moving for survival or because you're trying to find your life might instead land you into great trouble. You don't want to have that experience. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.